welcome back friends it is hand and man clarence here and we are doing a fireplace demolition in this video so i talked my husband into getting rid of our not energy efficient fireplace because uh, why not i'm going to be going over what we did to get rid of our fireplace and what you probably shouldn't do if you decide to do yours let's go ahead and jump straight into the video guys hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button as well right here down on your screen so you can stay up to date on our renovating of our fireplace so here we have my husband um, already working at chipping away at these lava rocks. We had lava rocks surrounding our entire fireplace. It was an insert, so we had to uh, get rid of the rocks in order to get to the fireplace. So we started out at the bottom because we had floors that were going to be coming in to be installed. So we wanted to get rid of that little footing part at the bottom of the fireplace so that they could continue the floors all the way from wall to wall pretty much. Um, if I could have redone it, I definitely would have started at the top of the fireplace, removing the lava rocks instead of at the bottom, but we were pressed for time and we were procrastinating and we waited to the last minute to tackle this project. So we ended up having to start from the bottom and working our way up. And, uh, let, let me say these rocks are a monster. We definitely were getting our asses handed to us trying to destroy this. I'm pretty sure there was a different way of going about getting rid of all of the concrete and lava rock, but we were limited on our tools, also limited on our budget because you know, we are frugal over here. So I went in with just a sledgehammer, some hammers, um, crowbars, like just pretty much caveman you know tools i really didn't go in with any power tools when trying to destroy these rocks which was okay for me because it kind of you know helped us relieve some stress we got to use a sledgehammer because those are always fun to use and so this is pretty much what we ended up with after removing the footing so as you can see there's pretty much wood blocks holding up the fireplace so it's pretty much just hollow underneath there and we removed all of that so that the floors could be put in so right now there's no floors in there right now that's all slab and as you can see there's our floors right there that will be put in so this is what we have in there now i really love the gray it comp complements his blue room very very well and i'm just showing you what it looks like underneath the fireplace after getting rid of all the blocks getting rid of all the lava rock and concrete that was surrounding the footing and as you can see it's pretty disgusting in there <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah it was it was pretty gross so in as you can see as well that it's just it's not energy efficient at all there's nothing that is uh pulling heat from this uh, fireplace when you do have, it's really just for show it really is these kind of inserts are just for show they just look nice when you put some fire in there that's it they don't serve no great grand purpose so might as well get rid of it and make better use of this space So we took a couple of days off because like I said, that mess was kicking our behind trying to get rid of that footing. So this is probably a few days down the line and Christian was working. So he's like super tired and I'm just like, you know what? I'll try to, you know, remove the rocks myself. So at first I go in trying to like cut on the outside around the lava rock where the drywall meets thinking that I could like kind of like pry in there and just like pull it all off. Yeah, that, that didn't work. I'm pretty sure it probably would have worked if I had my husband with me, but, you know, I was trying to be a boss and do it myself. So I ended up just working at the mantle. I took the sledgehammer and just broke the mantle pretty much. And then I could see, you know, the drywall where the rocks meet. So I decided to work on the bottom half. Again, I probably should have worked at the top, but I decided to work at the bottom half and kind of chip away at the rocks with a chisel. I didn't really want to go too much in with the sledgehammer because I didn't want to mess up the frame of the wall by just constantly slamming the sledgehammer into it because we, I don't want anything, you know, come crashing down. I don't know what's behind this rock wall. So I just keep at it. Gosh, it was so draining and tiring, but I just keep at it. This probably took 
three hours of my time trying to get rid of all of these rocks, but I finally made it. I finally accomplished the bottom half of the fireplace. Another thing not to do is to try to destroy lava rocks on your brand new freaking floors. My goodness, what was I thinking? I have dents in my brand new floors, which is okay. It's okay. It's okay because we had leftovers and we're just going to pop the, the bad ones out and put the new ones in. But oh my goodness, I did add so many dents in my new, brand new floor. So if you are going to do this, like try to cover the floor a lot better i just had this little cheap drop cloth down that didn't protect my floor it's worth a darn i probably should have went in with the canvas the little thick canvas drop cloth that probably would have helped some Check out the Handyman Clearance playlist where we also renovated our kitchen and other various small DIYs. I finally made it through to the other side. So this is pretty much what's behind it. And as you can see, it's just a pipe and an insert that is legit, that is all back here for the fireplace. So, so I'm just showing where the nails and the screws are that are pretty much holding this fireplace together. As you can see, they kind of like framed it out for the fireplace and there's just a bunch of two by fours in there. And um, I took another week off because I was tired. And I told Christian, you know what? you. You let me know when you ready because I can't do this no more. I get, I tried to superwoman this mess and I damn near killed myself. So he finally comes in to join in the fun and I tell him that he has to remove the flue pipe, which is the pipe connecting the chimney to the fireplace. So we had to go in with a reciprocating saw to cut the fireplace. Oh, I also forgot to mention. So once we tore off all that rock lava, guess what we found? Freaking termite tunnels all through the freaking wood. So all of that has to be pulled out and uh, yeah, be fixed. We're debating whether we're going to do that ourselves or hire someone. So for help with the flue pipe and removing the fireplace, I knew that this was just a job I couldn't do by myself. I just admitted that I just can't do it. So we invited our lovely neighbor over because he also removed his fireplace as well. And he comes over to help Christian to remove the fireplace, which was super helpful. He was so awesome. And so, yeah, I'm going to just let y'all watch them destroy the fireplace at this point.
Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those. Yeah. Ooh, that makes it heavy. That's all right. This is. I need you to. Do you want me to get? Yeah. <laughs> you take it with you. Find you know, a spot. You can't do it though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just get under That's what I'm saying. You're gonna be the squat master. Look. Look at the door. Yeah. yeah. You ain't got much. You know what I mean? We just need to get our head. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Got it. My man. My man. Good? Let's keep on going. It is gone, y'all. My freaking neighbor is the best. All right, y'all. So that is the end of this demo video for the fireplace. Of course, this is going to be a several part series. We did have to remove the flue pipe that was left from the chimney. And we are also going to hire someone to cap off the chimney. I would do it myself, but I just feel like that's a little bit out of my expertise. And I want to make sure it is done correctly so that we don't have any issues with like rain or anything coming through the chimney since we we have completely removed the fireplace so our idea for the room is to create like a little office nook for Christian and here are just some of the ideas that we have came across on Pinterest on you know trying to find our inspiration exactly on what we want to do for his room so um, his room it had kind of has that rustic theme about it and I feel like the rustic theme kind of gives it like like that manly like man cave kind of look to it so these were some of the ideas that I came across and I'm really excited to like try to do them a lot of the piping looks very interesting something that you you know just brings in metals and woods and leather all into one room because that's pretty much where what we have in his room right now the next part of our project we will be patching up his drywall of course for that small little nook the nook is probably about four feet wide and two feet deep so it's not a whole lot of space but it at least gives him a small area for a desk you can also stay up to date on all of our small renovations and you know DIY that we do around the house by following my Instagram at Handyman Clarence. Right now, I think I am just about 75 followers. I just created the page. So I'm trying to get the page up to at least 100 followers so we can do more fun things on there. Don't forget to follow Handyman Clarence on Instagram. I will have the link down below for you guys. And I really want to appreciate our subscribers and for everyone who has watched this entire video. Greatly appreciate it. And we hope we see you on the next renovation DIY video. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers right now. So once we hit 5,000 subscribers, of course, we will be doing a giveaway as as well and I'm super excited to uh, release the details on that but first we have to hit 5,000 and we would greatly appreciate it if you go ahead and join the Pom Pom family we know you want to thank you guys for joining us on another video please be blessed and be safe